Here are Screen Rant's 10 foreign rip-offs of popular Hollywood movies. Turkish Captain America Sometimes, a movie looking to profit off of popular superheroes doesn't care about story as much as it does the costumes. In the 1973 Turkish movie Three Giant Men, Captain America joins forces with the famous Mexican hero Santo and brings his girlfriend along to take down the evil Spider-Man who's taking over organized crime in the country's capital. Next to nothing from the comics is adapted to the movie. Cap somehow murders a version of the Spider-Man who can't really be killed. It's confusing, ridiculous, and Marvel obviously wasn't happy with the film, but it was released across Turkey anyway. Brazilian Star Wars There's no movie series bigger than Star Wars, and that kind of success means plenty of big screen parodies and spoofs. Spaceballs put a funny twist on the series in the States, but Brazil came up with its own. Their version was called The Tramps in the War of the Planets. It put a trio of Brazilian stooges into a galaxy far, far away, complete with a golden Darth Vader and Chewbacca too. Unfortunately, there's a reason most parodies of Star Wars fall flat, no matter where they're made. Indonesian Terminator The name of this Indonesian knockoff says it all. Lady Terminator was made just a few years after the original and sticks closer to the original's plot than most dare. Replace a futuristic robot with a woman possessed by an angry sea goddess who uses sex to kill her victims, and you've got a clear picture of why Lady Terminator was still fun to watch. The filmmakers clearly love James Cameron's Terminator, recreating entire scenes and action sequences, so it's hard to judge this ripoff too harshly. Especially when the movie is so violent, it makes Terminator seem like a family-friendly adventure. Hong Kong Street Fighter The official Street Fighter movie isn't exactly a successful adaptation, but an unofficial Chinese version of the game's story made its way to theaters a year before. By unofficial, we mean that characters like Ken, Chun-Li, and E. Honda were replaced with knockoffs Kent, Chun-Mei, and Toyota. If that doesn't make it clear that Future Cops was a comedy, its story should. The hero cops travel back in time from the year 2043 to the distant past of 1993 to keep the movie's villain from killing a single government official. To be fair, the official movie didn't make much more sense. Japanese Spider-Man Marvel's resident web-slinger may be famous around the world, and it's probably not due to this Japanese ripoff. The series ditched the Peter Parker story completely and recast Spider-Man as a motorcycle racer who stumbles onto a crashed spaceship and is injected with blood by the last survivor of the planet Spider. The superhero uses a magic bracelet to shoot webs and even commands his own battle robot, the Leopardon. It's a silly idea, but when the series ended, the production company used the giant robot idea in the Super Sentai franchise, the TV show that would eventually be adapted into the Power Rangers. Turkish Batman You'd have to be crazy to make a Batman movie without actually reading a Batman comic, right? Well, for this Turkish ripoff, the Adam West TV show was the real basis. It follows two men dressed kind of like Batman and Robin who punch, kick, and occasionally shoot criminals dead. That is, when the Dark Knight isn't randomly betting women. As bad as this is, if you ask comic book fans, they might not all agree that Turkey produced the worst Batman movie they've ever seen. Indian Superman. The 1988 movie Daria Dill isn't too out of place in Bollywood love stories and tales of family drama, apart from one stunning musical number. As the movie's hero tries to woo a young woman, the two are inexplicably shown in costume as Superman and Spider-Man, recreating the flight from Richard Donner's first Superman movie. No explanation for the change is offered, so the superhero costumes and scene make no actual sense in the larger story. But when the clip finally made its way online, the sequence and the movie found a larger audience than the filmmakers could have ever dreamed. Turkish Star Trek Okay, if you haven't noticed already, the laws against copyright infringement are pretty loose in Turkey. Because of that, in 1973, popular comedy character Omer the Tourist made a trip into the realm of Spock, Kirk, and the rest of the USS Enterprise crew. The movie recreates an episode of the original Star Trek series called The Man Trap, but with the lost Omer replacing the episode's salt-hungry alien menace. It's a strange choice for a big screen parody, but the movie managed to beat Star Trek the motion picture to movie theaters by six years. Italian Jaws If a killer great white shark can take the American box office by storm, why not release a movie with the same plot but an even bigger shark and even more victims? That was the thinking behind Great White, The Last Shark, an Italian movie released six years after Steven Spielberg's Jaws. But the ripoff actually hit American theaters too, grossing 18 million before Universal had it banned for ripping off Jaws. You can't call the Italian filmmakers cowardly though. In some regions, they actually advertised the imitation Jaws as a sequel in the same series. Indian Nightmare on Elm Street In the world of 1980s slasher movies, A Nightmare on Elm Street managed to stand out by setting its grisly murders in the dreams of teenagers, an added twist that made Freddy Krueger an immortal horror icon. The Indian ripoff, The Monster, lifted the entire plot and the killer's bladed glove, but with an even better twist. Since the movie was made in the Bollywood image, its version of Freddy Krueger got to take part in a handful of musical numbers. So in this case, we'll leave fans to decide if the ripoff was actually an improvement over the original.